Welcome back, Leos. This your girl, have you seen? I want to thank all my subscribers. I truly appreciate y'all. Okay, Leos, this is going to be your love reading for March 2019. Y'all remember this read is general and it's not going to resonate with everybody. All right, let's tap right in. Now, Leos, before, okay, the beginning of time dealing with this situation, all right, it was something that felt like it could be forever. All right, it could be forever, long term, right? It was just a foundation, a secure foundation, a long term commitment type shit. But now, dealing with this long term, it's some type of disappointment. It's some type of loss. It's some type of energy of somebody finna get left hanging or dead around this beach. This is all dealing with somebody could have been talking shit. Somebody could have been trying to ruin a person's relationship. A lot of gossiping, a lot of stalking, a lot of immature shit. And I feel like you knew this. Like, you was already tapped in. Somebody could have, like, just been extra and kind of ruined a relationship. But I feel like whatever is going on within this long-term, so-called long-term, Commitment. I feel like you already know what's going on. Okay. Um, like you trying to heal through this. You trying to heal through like not even communicating. It's like, you know what? Let me just be quiet. Maybe if I stop talking, that will heal me. Because at one point in time, you was mentally fucked up about something. Like, you could not stop thinking about it. You may have went in depressed mode, okay, where you just didn't want to make no type of move, okay? You didn't want to go towards no damn body. You didn't want to take no action. Like, you stopped dead in your motherfucking tracks, okay? You could have been missing money around this bitch. That's how depressed your ass was. I feel like you getting over this energy of disappointment, you getting over it. I feel like you gaining your confidence, your independence, okay? Um, you thinking about being single, but you could have a lot of negative thoughts around being single. Like, can I do it by myself? Is I'm going to be able to make it? Like, yes, you can do it by yourself. Don't settle for no bullshit, all right? Because this is all coming from you been stopped fighting for it. At first, she was trying to, you know, mix and mingle. But I feel like now somebody is coming to set you free from this. Because what's sitting on the foundation dealing with this, you already know. You already tapped the fuck in. Like, whatever is going on, you already got um, some type of message from your higher self. Sitting on this foundation, somebody is chasing you. I feel like it's a friend. I feel like it's a friend. Or, if this is some third party shit involved, um, this person could be chasing the person you dealing with. But, whoever, it's like a friend involved and is involving chasing. I feel like right now, sitting on the foundation, you feel left hanging. Like, you feel stuck right now. Like, things is not going your way. You just feel like, you know what? This is my turn to get the bad luck type shit. I feel like it's a heartbreaker sitting on this foundation. A lot of pain. You could have been dealing with a water sign. Um, but it's a lot of sadness on the foundation. Because the situation you in, you was not happy. Like, everybody not may not... It may not look like on the outside... Okay, you still may be looking good on the outside. 
But in the inside, you're not fucking happy. You may look like you're happy, but you're really not. And you may have to let this situation you in go. I feel like you need to wait on something else because honestly, you not this ain't fulfilling at all. Whatever this is. I feel like you thinking like, you know what? I got to just get some shit. I got to take my fucking power back. That's what the fuck I need to do. Because you feeling like like you just left out. You looking at it like you left out. You could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like you just want to just let drop all of this bullshit. Like, I don't want to carry this. I don't want to carry this. You could be dealing with a earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, because this situation is leading to you feeling weak and you losing power. Like you're feeling sick in this situation. I feel like you definitely need to make a goddamn decision because you could be dealing with a person who is either a cheater or focus on money. A person who really don't have their shit together. Like they may have had it together back in the day but now shit is all bad type shit i feel like it's some type of communication coming through i don't know if you finna tell this person off or this person is finna tell you off because i don't know if you made a decision to stop fucking with this person and it's like oh okay you stop fucking with me i got some shit i need to say or you coming off with the communication because you pissed the fuck off of the situation that you're in. And it's like, you know what? I need I need to say some shit. But remember, whatever you saying, whatever you're going to say or whatever this person say, it's like they can't take it back because you they may regret it or you may regret it because it's like it's in the moment. So watch what you like vent. Okay, watch what you vent because you may can't take it back. It's like be careful with the words that you using. All right. Especially if you're trying to break up with a motherfucker. Just break up with their ass. You ain't got to be extra and dramatic type shit. You see what I'm saying? Now, this is all leading to a new offer to a long term. Another commitment. It's like an offer coming up that can turn into long term. Okay. Like you will get justice around this bitch dealing with an offer. Okay. The universe like here. Here go another offer. What are you finna do with it? I feel like you may have a little doubt with it. Whatever this offer is. You may be still all in your feelings. Or this could be somebody you used to fuck with. And they all in their feelings. But I feel like you haven't healed yet. I feel like don't turn the offer down. Keep in contact, keep, you know, ain't nothing wrong with going on a date, starting a conversation, just letting a motherfucker know where you stand right now. Like, you know what? I'm open to like the possibility. I'm open to dating, but right now I'm not ready to give a motherfucker my all. And if you can't accept that, then I ain't the one for you. But if we can chill and talk and kick it and laugh and, and just take things slow and not rush and give each other space. And if I don't answer my phone, you not you not get mad. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that type of relationship or whatever. Like if a motherfucker can handle that, like letting a motherfucker heal, then go for it. But if a motherfucker ready for a serious commitment, I feel like you may not be in that type of space. Because of what you just coming from. So, but that's on you. So if you want to jump in and you feel like you can just heal through it, like, you know what, I'm going to heal while I'm, but just make sure you don't, like, take, take shit out on this new person just because of what another motherfucker put you through. That's all I'm saying, like. Because this could be some rebound shit. Like, you done got out of some shit and you ain't even healed and hurt. 
you still hurting and shit, and then you hop into another motherfucking relationship, and this motherfucker ready for some shit, but you ain't ready. You just trying to fill some type of void and shit. Like, that ain't fair. You know what I'm saying? For that person. So I feel like if you, if you're not ready and you, you know what I'm saying? You're not healed. Don't lead a motherfucker on. Like, just let a motherfucker know. Like, man, I just got out of some shit and you know what? I just feel like we should be cool and we could just take it from there. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's me. That's all I got, Leo. So thumbs the fuck up if that shit just made sense. If you like the tip heaven, I truly appreciate y'all. Sent from heaven. 225 at gmail.com at the PayPal. You already know. Peace out, y'all.